What's up guys, welcome to the back nine here at Keaton Park in blistering 100 degree Dallas, Texas. Uh, back nine starts out, it's a dog leg right par four. And the last time I was here, I played a four iron out there into the fairway. But this time, we're gonna be a bit more aggressive. We'll try to cut a bunch of this corner off, playing from a back tee, which I believe lets me try this. So we'll see what happens. Try to take a bunch of this off and get this back nine started off with a bang. Hit well, but left. And that might be trouble, I don't know. Hit well, it's hoping for a fade. And it was a draw. Bomb, but <coughs> wrong direction. Would you look at that, my golf ball's right in the fairway. After I dropped it there because my ball went on this line through the fairway into the water, so it just, Brought it back on that line, um, you know, back to the fairway. So it was an iron all day, but you just really wanted to take a swing at it. And I did, and I lost another golf ball. Anyway, I've got about 100 and 115 yards to the pin, so I'm just gonna try to hit a wedge up there and uh, avoid making a crazy number on the first hole on this back nine. Everything seems to be flying out here today, so. I'm gonna hit a 56. It's hit well. Come down. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that went past the hole. Um, up onto the ridge behind the hole. And then rolled back past the hole from where I am. It looked like it would roll like right by it, like it might have gone in. Obviously it didn't, but we have a putt for, for par. All right, putt for par. I will take that. So all right, straight at it, a little pace. Let's get this par, move on. There we go. All right, par three, 11th, 190 something yards. So I'm just gonna take a six iron, try to put something up there. Yep, so it's playing about 190 yards from here to the pin, which looks like it's in the back. So I'm just gonna try to hit this six iron back there. I'm gonna aim this middle of the green. Maybe it fades back, maybe not. But I was over on the right side last time I played here and uh, that's not really where you wanna miss, so. Good looking shot if it's there. Yeah, it's a great shot. All right, from 200 yards, I will take this result all day. And right there, just, just shy of pin high. <laughs> I'll take that. More break than I saw, but par there is good any day. All right, hole 12 out here is a uh, 360 yard par four, but there is water left. There is, I think water way down there on the right too, maybe, but there's junk down on the right regardless. So <clears throat> it's a four iron all day. Basically just trying to take it just to the left of that tree out there. And yeah, should leave me a little wedge into the screen. That, a, that is about as well as you can hit a four iron, or as I, as well as I can hit a four iron. That was smashed. All right, if my numbers are correct, that's about a 250 to 260 Yard four iron there. Gotta love dry conditions, or it just runs out. So, um, yeah, about 100 yards in, so 92 to the flag. 
But with the way everything's flying, I think I'm gonna hit a, a 60. Um, just take a good swing at it. See if I can get it to land soft. Oh, get there. Oh, okay. I got there. Went past there. Went up on the right, there's a ridge, kind of came back a bit. All right, this is what we have left for the birdie. Okay, so we got 20 feet, 15 feet, 20 feet down the hill. It's gonna go left to right. <clears throat> yeah, I like that line. Oh, get down the hill. All right, I will take that. A little firmer maybe has a chance, but happy with the par there. All right, hole 13 out here, it's a par five, under 500 yards, not super long, but water starts way up there at 315 or so, but with the way everything's running, flying today, can't hit driver. Um, so I think I'm actually just gonna hit four iron out there. Again, let it run down the fairway, and uh, yeah, should have a, Hopefully under, around 200, maybe under yards into the green, depending on how much it rolls out. Yep, that's what I was trying to do. All right, just to be clear, I'm not recommending this next course of action to anyone else. Um, I have 245 yards to the pin. Um, and <sighs> it's 220 to carry, all that. So I'm just gonna hit this four iron up there, hard as I can, try to get over the water. The other play is to go way out here to the right and well, I don't really want to do that. So I'm going to try to hit this four iron, hit it really well, and get over onto dry land. That is the primary goal here. Get over onto dry land. As expected, I pulled that, and it's in the water anyway. Oh, man. Ah, so close. All right, well, that golf ball ended up in there. It was drawing and it landed just short up there on the left. So if I had actually hit that straight, I think it would have cleared, but just overcooked it. So really wasn't the play, but kind of kind of had to go for it. Just one of those things. All right, I got about 100, 150 yards or so from here. So I'm gonna hit a pitching wedge I'm gonna get up and down for par. What? Um. Okay, I don't know what just happened. Okay, I'm not sure what just happened. Um, it felt like I hit that pretty well, and it came up way short. But it felt very weird, like there was something off with that golf ball. I don't know, it was just very odd. Huh, okay. Well, I'm gonna hit another one. See what happens. Really? Okay, so I think I just made a really, really, really stupid miscalculation. Uh, that was a little uphill, a little into the wind, and uh, I'm playing the one-on-one tees today, and I don't think I hit them quite as far as I hit the 201s. Um, so I hit a, 
after those two, after I hit one in the water and then one here, I hit the uh, nine iron and there's a ball up here on the right uh, that's pin high. So I just, it was just one club off and it felt weird, but really just a stupid mistake on my part. So I'm not even sure what this is for. I'm not really gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna try to hit a good chip, get up and down. It's up this hill though, so I gotta really commit to this. You know what, I will take that. Cause if that landed on the this upslope here, it probably doesn't even get up there, so. Right, I believe this is for an eight, for a snowman on a par five. Really made a mess of this. But, trying to make a good putt. Oh. Can't leave it short. Well, that's a problem. All right, only thing to do after a hole like that is to try to forget it and move on. So on to the next, it is a par three, playing about 180 yards, pins. Looks like it's up in the back. So just gonna try to hit a seven iron up there. And uh, yeah, try to kind of move on from what happened last hole. I know some people like to make up numbers about how far they hit the golf ball, stuff like that, the vanity yardages and I'm not really, I'm not really into that. Um, you know, I, for, for some people I hit it a long ways, for others I don't. Uh, I don't really care, I just want to know what those numbers are. Um, you know, whatever that is, I just want to be able to play that. Because I don't want to tell you I hit my pitching edge 165 yards and then I'm always short playing like trash. So, <laughs> just want to put that out there. Um, because you know, how far I hit it. I just wanna, I wanna be consistent. That's really the only thing I care about, so. Anyway. Okay. So, <laughs> that was a lot of ground. A lot of ground there, but I think the ball, I think it cleared the bunker on the right and it's up there, just on the right side, I think. All right, so yeah, pin high back here, just off the green. Um, so I've been messing with this chipping technique. I'm not even sure what it is, but it's kind of a play on this idea of uh, locking that front arm. I see it a lot in a putting stroke. What I've been doing is just kind of trying to take the right arm out or the left arm out of it. Just kind of set that wrist a little bit and then use that right hand soft and let that do the actual stroke. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it's been feeling pretty good today as I've been messing with it. So we'll see if it does here. Okay. Alrighty, this is for par. <clears throat> a little longer than I was hoping for. That chip just released more than I was expecting because it was, uh, it was into the grain. So instead of it riding up the face, you know, on a kind of a fluffier lie, it came out a little hotter and just released a bit more. So it's all right though. Feeling better and better over my chips, even if the results aren't exactly what I'm hoping for. <laughs> I don't know why I saw that going right. It's all right. Hole 15 out here is a 440 yard par four straight away. Not much going on here. Is out of bounds right. Left is trees, but they're fairly open, so Basically, there's a tree down the left-hand side here. I'm gonna hit driver towards that tree and uh, try to hit a little fade back into the, the meat of the fairway. Uh, yeah, that's the plan here. The 
Okay, faded back. It's in the right side. Fairway might be, maybe, maybe got into the rough over there. I'm not exactly sure where the rough starts. All right, I've got 132 yards here. <clears throat> um, it's in the rough, and I think this is gonna be a flyer. Just kind of what it feels like, pins up front. I'm gonna hit a 52 degree wedge, kind of play for that flyer and see if they can uh, get this up there. That is to the moon, a little left. Get up there. Oh, all right, take that. All right, so we're just off the green here. Um, yeah, I landed right here. So, right about pin high. I'm gonna putt this one. Really just looking to get something up there kind of close. Get up there. Go in. <sighs> okay. Had a chance. Just didn't quite get there, but uh, I'll take it. All right, hole 16 out here. Three more to go. It's a par four, 420 something yards, I think. Dog leg right. So I'm gonna take driver down this left side. Maybe with a, uh, try to get fade it back a little bit into the fairway. And yeah, leave myself a, a wedge in. That's the plan here. Oh no. Oh no. Hit something and get down. Man. Ah, I was undecided over that ball. I said, hey, I'm gonna hit a fade. And I got up to the ball. For whatever reason, my mind goes, no, 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 what if you just hit a little drop? And instead of stepping off and actually making up my mind, instead, I thought, let's do both. So, so I just pushed it right. So, came across it and still pushed it, started it right. Not good. All right, so this clearly is not a good situation. Um, in the trees, no opening up there. The green is that way, no shot there. Um, really, the only thing I can do is there's an opening in front of me. I'm just gonna try to hit something out there and give myself a, a shot into the green from there. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. Just hit a choke down five iron, hit something out there and hope. Yeah, that's kind of what we're doing here. Hit and hope. And you know what? That worked out. Just like I drew it up. All right, trying to get up and down here from about 56 yards. Um, yeah, just trying to hit something in there. A little spin, a little check. Yeah. We'll see. Try to put it back in my stance a little bit. I'm actually going to try the kind of holding off that front arm a bit more and see how that feels on this length shot. Really, really still figuring this stuff out. Still trying to get a feel for the short game. No check. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, so that wedge ended up right here. Um, I think I'm gonna keep doing that, that little technique that I've been playing with. That felt really good. It's a nice low ball flight with some spin. What would be a, a very happy par for me. There we go. Hole 17 out here at Keaton Park. It's a 410 yard par four. I'm just gonna hit driver out there, um, just commit to it and hopefully make a good swing. Yeah, that's. I just wanna see a good ball flight and uh, we'll go from there. A little draw, a little fade, not worried about it. Just trying to hit up on the ball. 
Oh no. I sent it out right. Uh... All right, so the ball went in the water up here. Taking a drop back here. I have not made this hole very short. I have 185 yards into this green. Uh, I'm gonna hit a seven iron. I think it's gonna jump a little bit out of this lie. So I'm just gonna try to hit a seven iron high. So maybe it'll, uh, it'll stop up there on the green. Didn't hit that very well. Yeah, a little chunky, kind of came back on that, trying to give it more loft than it needed. A little chunky. That's what we've got, short of the green. The pin is up on a, uh, the ledge back there, so I've got to get it all the way back there. Now sit. Ah, too much. Too much. Now stop. All right, hole 18 out here, Keaton Park. It is a par five, 500 and let's say 15 yards, give or take. And last time I played here, I took driver, absolutely ripped one over the trees, but I uh, underestimated how quickly the water came in and how far I hit the ball uh, on that particular swing and it rolled into the water. And then there's also trouble left if you pull it off the tee. So um, it's just another one of those holes where take your medicine, especially after that last hole, take your medicine, hit a full iron out there. If you gotta lay up and then try to make birdie the old fashioned way, it's what you gotta do. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. Hit a full iron out there, um, start it out there and maybe let it draw in a little bit, run down the fairway. That is the plan. And the plan was executed, I think. I may have overdrawn it a little bit with these trees on the left. Plan is a three shot hole regardless. So um, we'll just have to see if I have any trouble up there. All right, this sucks. <laughs> so there's the ball. And obviously that's the tree it's right next to. The green is up there. I'm not really sure if I have a, a stance here at all. So, got to see what's even possible here. Take an eight iron, it's gonna get de-lofted a bunch. I'm gonna go here and just do that, try to pop something out there. Yeah, see what we have left afterwards. All right, here we go. Now stop, 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 oh no. Oh, that was always the problem. Stop. It didn't stop. Son of a gun. All right, all that crap I said about taking your medicine off the tee still ended up here. No, it's just because, again, I miscalculated. But still, ignore it. Just go for it. <laughs> Got about 165 yards to the pin from here. Uh, I'm going to hit it. Eight iron. Let's see if I can get something up there. Yeah. Oh wow, huh, I think that flew a little bit. It's uh, over the green. All right, so this is where that ball ended up. Just up against the rough here. The green runs away and then down a hill and that's where the flag is. So really just have to play this just on the green maybe, let it roll out. It's a uh, not an easy chip. Roll, do not stop. Don't stop up there. How do you, st wow. 
All right, trying to give you guys a perspective on how fast this putt is coming down the hill. You can hopefully see how steep this hill is. Um, I'm really just got to tap this. I don't think there's any way I keep it short of the pin without it going in. Okay. I will take that. Ah. Obviously not the ending I was hoping for. Put the final full score up on the screen now. Um, if you watch that, I'd love some feedback. What do you think is the biggest thing I need to work on in my game? Um, I know course management, just learning where to miss um, is huge. It's very, very big. Uh, that's something I need to work on. Short game, obviously, uh, and I'm working on that, trying to get that dialed in more. But I just seem to throw away a lot of shots needlessly. So let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.